This is really an interesting project. It's for a new PTZ, PTZ standing for those new cameras that you can remotely use to pan, tilt or zoom. It's Christian from Vision 6D and in this project we've already set the time scale to weeks instead of days. And what is left to us is now to show you how here you see we have columns in which we have the start of a task as week number and we have the finish of a task also as week number. And now I'm going to do this with you. I'm now going to add the start week column, but that kind of column doesn't exist. So I'm going to pick a text column and adapt it. For this, I've inserted the column and now I'm going down and define the specific fields that I want in this column. What I'm going to use is a formula for this field. You see among the custom attributes here, I have the possibility to define a formula. Whenever I do that, MS Project is warning me that uh, if there were data into this field, they would be removed. So I simply say OK. And now I'm going to insert a formula. The formula, I copied it. I won't enter into the details of that formula. It will be the same for the start and the finish, a part that we have here, a keyword that is start, and the second one, it will be finish. So I'm simply saying here, okay, to that. Once again, I have the warning that my data will be wiped out. I'm saying, okay, and now, and now, what will happen? Let's say, let's try it. And you see, MS Project has calculated for us into this column the start weeks for each task. Now, what I'm going to do, it's here to come and do exactly the same for the other column. I'm adding a custom column. So for this, once again, I'm going to insert that time text to and I'm editing the fields. It's exactly the same. I'm going to pick a formula here. And now we'll see what happens. We're fortunate enough that the calculation is just fine. So we see that, for example, here requirements, they would start week 22 and finish at week 29. Now what I want to change is the header of each column. For this, I come here up and I go into that time field settings. And you see that I will keep the field name as text one. And it's the title that I will change to start week. Like that, we have it for the first column. And of course, I'm going to do exactly the same for the, the second column which will be the finish week. Like that, we have two headers that are really saying us what's the content of those columns. Now you know how to change the time scale that you can see the weeks and the week numbering. For me, it's always a pleasure to exchange those knowledges with you. And all what is left to me it's to wish you a great time and hope to see you soon for our next module. Bye-bye.